Hey there, this is Dave Gardner. I'm super excited to be getting in to the next video with you right now. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make your video either public or private, assuming you have it one or the other and you wanna edit or change that over time. So find the video that you want. We're sticking with the one that we've been using for a while. And you're gonna click the little icon that looks like a pen down in the bottom, which is gonna allow you to edit that key feature in whether or not you want your video public or private. So let's say you wanted everyone to see it when you first posted it. And then you realize you wanted only certain people to see it. Maybe you were public and you wanted to go private, or maybe you weren't sure you wanted to release it yet and uh, you were private first, but then you realize, okay, you want to share it and go public. Maybe it was something that you had in a special members area uh, for a little while and it was very, uh, you know, secluded and it was only, you know, reserved for certain people. But then, you know, maybe a couple years later, you decide you wanted to expand out and let the world see it. And so when you go to your edit video function, there's two buttons when you scroll down towards the bottom, you can go back and forth between public and private. And so public, basically anyone can see it. And so when you do your video tags, for example, you know, for this one, screen capture, how to do a screen capture, best screen capture software, so on and so forth. So if someone were to go into a search engine and type these uh, statements in there, your video could potentially be one of the ones that shows up in that search. And so if you want people to see that that way, make sure that you have the public clicked. But if you don't want anyone to find your video, like I said, maybe it's a special training, maybe it's secluded, or maybe it's just a private family video that you've uploaded to save and you don't want the world to see it, uh, maybe because you get young kids or you know, maybe because of some uh, sensitive issue that you don't want the world to get out there, you're gonna wanna click private. And so when you click private, what you need to always do at the end just make sure that you actually click the save button and now this video will be private and it should not be able to be found but notice only viewable by you and those who you share the video with so in the other training videos you can see how to uh, grab the link to share or how to share it on facebook so you should still be able to do those functions it's just that no one would find it when they were actually doing a search and so again key thing make sure you click that private button and then as always Click the save. Again, this has been Dave Gardner. Thank you for watching along with this training video. Hopefully you found some immense value. If you have any questions or comments, you can always join us and hit us up in the Facebook group or support tab up top. We really want to hear about your successes with these tools and how you're actually implementing them into your niche because we want to help the family out. So as I always say, you get out of it what you put into it. And the big question that I always have for you is with all these awesome tools that you have, what will you create to make your legacy and what will you create to help others so that you can make a difference in the world today?